you a great question though as to you know it, it's not exact it's not a very safe thing to do you know because you are giving a platform to you know very cogent persuasive atheist voices uh, now my job of course is to make sure they're balanced equally by christians who can hold their own and make the case for christianity but in a way um you know i, I would say unbelievable to some extent does come with a health warning you know which is that you're going to hear two perspectives here you've got to be ready for that and if you don't like that you might want to listen to the show but in my view the, it's it's difficult to avoid bumping into skepticism wherever you happen to be in the world today unless you literally live in a bubble you know you're only a google click away from someone yeah. tearing down the christian faith online exactly. And and in my view, we just have to bite the bullet. Christians have to realize we can't live in a bubble anymore. We have this thing called the Internet and all of our young people are on it. And and therefore, we might as well have these conversations where at least you've got uh, a sensible Christian voice on the other side. I'd rather have that than them simply just to be reading Dawkins or Hitchens or whoever um, and only getting one side of the conversation. So I think it's worth the risk. Essentially, I think that actually, um, you know, people are all on all kinds of different journeys. There's no guarantee someone listening to an unbelievable show is always going to side with the Christian. You know, they may say, hey, uh, I, you know, I didn't believe any of this stuff and your show's only confirmed it for me. Well, that's that's where they're at. I can't I can't control what yeah. people do with 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 what gets broadcast but i do believe somewhere as a christian i do believe god's in this and and that in his goodness and his providence um he will be glorified ultimately and i just sort of have to do my best to do what i think this show is being called to do and that is to create this platform where both sides are heard and and if you like i think we reach so many more people especially on the skeptical side by doing it that way i think if it was just a christian voice you were hearing we simply wouldn't have this this platform where where skeptics are actually engaging with the show